In this lecture, we will cover equivalence partitioning test technique. Let's first understand what equivalence partitioning means. Equivalence partitioning divides data into partitions, also known as equivalence classes, in such a way that all the members of a given partition are expected to be processed in the same way. Now let's understand this definition. Suppose you have a requirement. System shall accept only two digit numbers. That means the system will accept values from 10 to 99. But is it enough to test values? The answer is no. Here we have to apply equivalence partitioning technique. Let's see how. We can represent data like this where number 10 and 99 can be kept at the boundary as these are the extreme values which system accepts. Now if you see, we have three partitions. Values less than 10, which are invalid. Values more than 99, which are also invalid. That means here we have three partitions. We can also say that we have three equivalence classes. Two invalid equivalence class and one valid equivalence partition. Now, let's summarize all the points which we covered. Valid values are values that should be accepted by the component or system. An equivalence partition containing valid values is called a valid equivalence partition. Invalid values are values that should be rejected by the component or system. An equivalence partition containing invalid values is called an invalid equivalence partition. Any partition may be divided into sub-partitions if required. What it means is, in the valid equivalence partition, we can have multiple partitions. We will cover it in upcoming lectures. Each value must belong to one and only one equivalence partition. And when invalid equivalence partitions are used in test cases, they should be tested individually.